Hello, I'm going to do the daily energy reading and this is for the collective and this timeless. So for whoever, whenever you feel drawn to hear this message. Also be sure to check out your sun, moon and rising sign for more messages. And this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave what does not. All right, so we're gonna start out with a crystal card and then we are going to get some tarot, some clarifiers, and close out with an oracle card. All right, so let's get a crystal card. See if one wants to pop out. Usually one does. All right, I feel like that one. All right, that one's pretty, that is amethyst, all right? And that's this stone right here, amethyst. So we'll put that right there. Protection, trust, intuition. Get ready to purify. Amethyst has powerful and beneficial properties, including the ability to release addictive behaviors while also protecting your energy field. Amethyst is a great crystal to meditate with as it promotes peace and tranquility between your emotional, physical, and spiritual planes, creating harmony inside and out. It's, it is linked to the crown and third eye chakras, connecting your intuition to the divine source. Bask in the violet rays of the amethyst crystal and stimulate your soul. Aquarius, Pisces, Jupiter, and Neptune. Listening to your intuition. Crown and third eye chakras. Temperance, the sun, the ten of wands, the nine of wands, the hangman, the tower. Look at all these major cards. Eight of pentacles, four of cups, and four of wands. So for overall energy, we have the four of wands, which is that happiness feeling, that good feeling, that feeling like you are in a positive space that also can represent celebrations and get togethers like um, with family members or friends you know going to those getting yourself out there going to celebrations and it also can represent that connection that you have with somebody that's very strong that's very grounding and feeling very good all right, so for current energies, we have temperance, the sun, ten of wands, and nine of wands. So I feel that it's, it's tens or completions, or it's ten of wands is also like carrying some heavy burdens, but I feel like you're finally able to let those go. Like you're finally able to let something go. You're finally able to embrace this sun energy, the positive energy. And it's exhausting. I feel like maybe you've been through a lot. Like you've, it's been exhausting for you to carry all of these wands on your back. Like you're, you may be tired. You may be exhausted. Like you may be like ready to give up on something. But nine of wands is also about hang in there. Like you can do it. Hang in there. You're strong. You can do it. All right. You just have to be patient temperance it takes time for things to work themselves through and to not rush anything and not to push anything um to have that trust and intuition i feel like you know that things are going to get better you know you're going to lift this ten of wands off your back like you know that's going to happen and you just have to believe that and you have to trust it and you have to be patient and when the time is right things will fall in place for you for future energies we have the hangman the tower the eight of pentacles and the four of cups I feel like it's something new is headed your way, something different, something that is stronger, something that is better. But you have to look at it from a like you're because of this tower, I feel like you see things differently and it's a new way of looking at things. I feel like maybe it even has to do a new way at looking at instead of looking at the three cups here that you look up towards the opportunities towards the good towards the positive that this change I feel like there's some big change coming in for you some it might be a shake up it may like a sh things are shaken up things are kind of and maybe that that makes you feel 
unsteady and you're like whoa like you're bracing you're like what tau like things are so different now like what's happening what's going on and you're like whoa wait a minute here but I feel like because of that it changes your perspective it changes everything up it's a new way for you to do things there's a new way for you to look at things it's like maybe at this time when you're like you were going through this you're like oh you know I don't what is the good that's to come from this? But then you're able to see it like that, that, like the clouds clear and you're able to see like, oh, okay. Like this is a different way of doing things, but I feel like it's so much better. But I feel like you can be overwhelmed by this tower moment and you can look at this tower as, okay, I'm going to look at these three. I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be like, I'm going to be down because of this tower. Oh no, it's the tower, right? Or you can look at it as looking positive and looking up towards that ace of cups and saying tearing down something that was built on a false foundation but rebuilding something stronger let's look at it as what is the positive way to look at this tower card it's something that is being built stronger something that that is better than it was before something even though it's a shake-up and it's changed but it's for the positive I may not see that positive right now but I feel you know I know my intuition is telling me that it is for the positive. It is for the better, you know. Whatever that may have to deal with. If it's a relationship, if you've had a breakup, if you've had, you know, a situation, it's it's for the Ten of Cups. It's for the better. It's for the best. You know, looking at it that way. chariot moving forward right towards the sun um sometimes when things happen we're like well how is this for the better i don't see it's for the better and in that moment like you can't see that and you need time to kind of step back like the hangman to step back from the situation and look back into it and see you know maybe it was a relationship it was a re recent breakup and then you're like well you you really thought that was the person or you thought you were going in the right direction or you thought everything was good but then there was a breakup and you're like well how was that good because I was really happy or or I was but then you step back and you look and you say well was I really happy was I really feeling good was I really re was there really a connect was I feeling that love back from that person that I was giving out to that person was that really there or was I making it feel that way but it really wasn't was I trying to make something work that really wasn't working? Was I trying to feel something that I really wasn't feeling? Was I really that happy, right? Two of Swords, looking at it from a different perspective, seeing it from, like, was I really happy? What's the negative? What's the positive? Was I mostly happy or was I mostly sad? Was I frustrated? Were we fighting? Were we arguing? Was I really feeling fulfilled? Was I feeling loved? Was I feeling loved, right? Nine of Cups, was I really feeling that way? Or was that really best for me? What's best for me? Stay, taking that step back, what's best for me? Is it best for me to stay in that energy? Is it best for me to be frustrated and angry and sad and disappointed, right? Was I making things out better to be what they were? Do I need to tear that down and do I need to rebuild this stronger? Do I need to rebuild this better? Um, right? What's best for me? Having that, looking at it from the positive side, which I know sometimes that's frustrating. Like when you're in it, you're like, well, how can you look at it from the positive side? If that's the energy that you're putting out, like, yes, in the beginning, like you're, you're frustrated and, but recognizing that, but then also recognizing, okay, I don't want to keep myself in this negativity. I don't want to keep myself in this frustration. It could be a friendship that you are rebuilding because the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who represents a really close friend, somebody that you can trust, somebody that you can rely on. And maybe it's this rebuilding of this friendship because I feel like this also represents friendships friendships here. Um, and rebuilding a friendship. Maybe you had a falling out. Maybe it's somebody that's really important to you. Maybe it's a relationship that, you know, your relationship that you're having with your partner, but you want to get back to the friendship. Like you lost a friendship within the relationship. And it's like, well, I want to get back to that. To, I want to get back to the friendship that we had within our relationship because I want to feel that feeling that you are my best friend. And let's let's tear down those walls and let's work on this and let's re rebuild this friendship even stronger than it was before, right? But making sure that you keep your needs, 
you know, in the process that you don't lose yourself in this rebuilding because I feel like this rebuilding like you're choosing what's better for you what's best for you and four of wands again okay so I feel like it's that reconnection within that relationship that feels happy that feels good I feel like I just feel like it's that reconnection within the relationship that you've been missing right oh perfect <laughs> Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is something that you are doing and then you're stopping and you're taking a look and you're kind of having this hangman moment. But then you get back to it. Like you get to that happy place. I mean, she's got that big smile on her face. It's like getting back to that happy place. And I feel like that's what you want to work on is t tearing down, right, the negative, whatever you had to deal with, whatever happened, but then rebuilding it stronger and that this relationship is even stronger than it ever was before. Um, trusting your intuition that if this is the relationship that you want to build, that you want to have this Ten of Cups, this friendship, this connection that works for you. But I feel like this relationship is on a different level once you work through this. All right, so let's get an animal oracle card and close it out. Oh, that one just flipped over. Look, heart. Heart. He's in the heart. We've got a heart there and a heart here. Otter spirit, you are never alone. You are never alone. You are never alone. And remembering that, whether it is people that you have around you or your spirit guides, if you believe in that, um, whether it's even just your pets, you know, if you have animals or pets. Um, or just seeing those signs around you and knowing that you you are never alone all right beautiful message thank you so much for watching as always stay positive stay safe and i will see you next time